Ni hao, today we're going to be going to Kings Canyon. We're going to be hiking an interesting trail called the Chicago Stump Trail. Um, there's a, apparently a giant stump in the middle of this basin grove called the Chicago Stump for some reason. We'll find out why and learn a little bit about its history. Uh, this trail is located three miles north from Grant Grove Village, right off of Highway 180. So let's get going. We've been on many trails. We hike them, we rate them, and then we share them. Hopefully, we find the right one for you. So grab some snacks, put on your hiking boots. These are Hiking Chronicles. Okay, so once you pass this sign, go ahead and pull right in um, to the gate. Just know that during the winter, this gate will be closed. So you'll have to walk from there to the trailhead, which is about you know two miles during the summer though it's usually open you can drive right through get closer to that trailhead and from there it's only about a 15 minute walk to the chicago stump okay so i believe the entrance is this way let's go wait what is this let's go this way guys To jump over this log, oh, shit, I almost fell. You're gonna have to jump over this log, man. Where'd you go? There you are. Let's hold on. I'll let you guys know. So, like I was saying, from the gate to Chicago Stump, it's gonna be about a two mile hike. It's fairly easy, right? I mean, it's mainly flat ground open kind of like what you see here this was during December I believe once you hit spring summer things start to get greener nicer and that's when all the animals start to come out you guys see that it's gonna be a lot of animals <laughs> so that I mean really the hell so when I'm shooting these videos, it's usually just me and my dogs. So I've started to carry bear mace with me because you never know. Um, you can run into an aggressive bear. I know that there's coyotes, there's mountain lions around, there's snakes. Uh, well, I wouldn't have to mace a snake, I don't think. If I can't get away from a snake, then I deserve to get bit. That'd be pretty stupid. Chicago stump. I don't drink and drive. Hey, why do you guys always surround me like this? Hold on. So I've been trying to learn Mandarin, you know, Chinese for several years now. Still a lot that I don't know, like all of it. Um, I wonder how you say Alexa, how do you say little squirrel in Mandarin? Little squirrel in Mandarin is... Xiao Song Shu. Little ground squirrel. You saw it? Look at me, it's right there. It's the Xiao Song Shu. See me? I think I said it right. Look, it's running right in front of you. Oh, I missed it. It's all the accents that get me. Missed it, but you smell it, huh? Mini trunks. Yeah, that squirrel will kick your butt. Come on, let's go. I'll take a picture of that. All right, so this is the part that I was talking about. Once you get closer to Chicago Stump, you're going to start to see the trail narrow a little bit, you know, more trees, more shade. Um, but as I'm walking, you know, I look to my left, and there's like a cool cluster of stumps yeah, right in the middle of this, this meadow, big meadow. And it's really cool, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it, and I'm using my camera to zoom in, see what the hell's going on. 
but I can't get to it because there's plants everywhere. There's no trail to that spot, so so I'm gonna have to use Raven for this one later on. So Chicago Stump is one of the biggest stumps in the world, but why the name? Why? What does Chicago have to do with sequoias? I don't know. Let's find out together. Alexa, tell me about Chicago Stump. Here's something I found from the article General Noble mm. Tree on Wikipedia. The remains of the General Noble Tree are known as the Chicago Stump, which can be seen in the Converse Basin Grove. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what the sign says. Imagine finding a tree so large that it dwarfed the tallest building known at the time. When the General Noble Tree and other giant sequoias were first discovered, nobody believed a tree that size could exist. To prove it, the tree was cut down and shipped in pieces to the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Ironically, the giant, the giant was felled in vain, and viewers of the reassembled tree believed it to be a hoax. Who was there, Trump? It's a hoax, folks. Fake tree, fake news. Mia, yeah, get your butt down here. I'm out here reading, trying to educate myself and the viewers, and, and you're out here doing rallies. Alexa, how do you say, I'm not upset, I'm disappointed, in Mandarin? I'm not upset, I'm disappointed, in Mandarin is... Mia. Yeah. Okay, so after scolding Mia in Mandarin, I think she learned her lesson, so let's go to some highlights. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the trail as much as we did. It's a nice, short, um, lightly trafficked trail with uh, a lot of things to see, you know, the stumps, Chicago stump. Um, it was fun. I had a good time. I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it for you guys, um, especially if you can't, um, 
go on long hikes, this is the perfect one. Okay, so level of difficulty, I'm gonna give this one an easy since it's short and you're mostly on flat ground. Sun factor, if you're walking from the gate to the trailhead, then there's gonna be a lot of sun since it's pretty open. There's not a lot of trees, but once you get past the trailhead, then there's gonna be a lot of trees and you'll have a lot of shade. Traffic, this is a very lightly trafficked trail. So if you like that, then it's perfect. And as far as wildlife goes, you're gonna be seeing um, a lot of you know, squirrels, birds like crows, ravens, you're gonna see um, chipmunks, you're gonna see lizards, you know, things like that. So with all that said, I'm gonna give Chicago Stump a four out of five. So thanks again for watching guys. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next hike.